Hi folks, uh, we're in Africa filming again and I, I really want to talk to you about something that is another misunderstood concept in the shooting world, especially in hunting, and that is what causes bullets to penetrate and expand in living mammalian flesh versus test mediums. And <laughs> And, and I want to point out there is no test medium that equals living mammalian flesh other than living mammalian flesh. And uh, after having shot thousands of animals, I know a little about the subject. First of all, <clears throat> yesterday I got an email uh, from somebody that had seen one of the YouTube videos about our stopping rifles. And he goes, well, you know, the 416 Rigby penetrates steel better than the 577 Nitro, so it's a better stopping rifle. Okay, we need to, <clears throat> we need to rein it in and, and get rid of decades old myths here. Steel has nothing to do with mammalian living material at all. Steel has no moisture content. If you want to penetrate steel with a super soft bullet that would never work on a Cape Buffalo, just run it over 3,000 feet a second and it'll punch. I could take a pure lead bullet, which is only four on the BHN scale, and we could take a typical silhouette target steel like AR500, um, and you can shoot it all day long with 44 magnums and stuff like that with really hard bullets, and it, those things will not penetrate the steel. But if you take a super soft pure lead bullet and run it over 3,000 feet a second, it'll punch right through. Velocity punches steel plate. You know, of course, I'm, I'm talking about typical steel plate made for shooting ranges like AR500. Velocity punches it. Well, would you want to shoot a Cape Buffalo in the head with a pure lead bullet going 3,000 feet a second? I think not. It would splatter. And the difference is the steel is a different material than mammalian flesh. The steel has no moisture content. The, the buffalo's brain, his skull, his skin is loaded with moisture. I, I think the average mammal is 70% liquid, 70% water. Um, and so what punches steel generally is velocity, not the hardness of the bullet or anything else. You can run super soft bullets and punch steel. So when you say this rifle or that rifle punches steel, so it would be really, really good on a Cape Buffalo's head. That's just not true. And, and I know that, you know, we sit behind keyboards and we read stuff on the internet and everybody's got a hypothesis and, uh, okay. I, I have shot myself. There's people that have shot a lot more than me, but I've shot over 40 Cape Buffalo at this point, um, three or four of them that were charging. Uh, <clears throat> in order to find out what penetrates a living mammal, you got to shoot a living mammal. For example, another thing that I see all the time on some of these YouTube videos, and, and you have to understand, I'm... Kim and I are new at the YouTube thing. We've only been doing it six weeks. Uh, and so I, I used to watch here and there a YouTube video on, look, this penetrated four layers of birch. It's a superior penetrator. Okay, first of all, there's probably 20 different types of birch and there's probably 20,000 different types of, of wood on this planet. They've all got different grain structure and different grain density and different moisture content. Living mammals are mostly water and you can shoot all the wood in the world you want and the only thing it will tell you is how well that bullet penetrates wood. That wood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that wood. <laughs> it doesn't tell you anything else and I know that may seem counterintuitive and it is counterintuitive unless you've done a lot of this. I've shot all kinds of steel. I've shot all kinds of wood. I've shot almost every kind of animal there is. Lots of them. Talk water jugs and gel. Well, yeah, I'm going to get into the 10% ballistic gel. I, I think if you're going to try and simulate living flesh, sands the bones. I mean, 
you know, bones have less moisture content than flesh or sinew or guts. But it, if you're going to try and simulate a good test medium for mammals, 10% ballistic gel is probably as good as it gets. And it still doesn't tell you squat uh, about shooting a living mammal because there's all kinds of bones, there's angles involved, there's distances involved, bore diameter involved versus velocity involved versus sectional density involved. None of, none of that matters on steel and only a little bit of it matters on wood. So <clears throat> all of these tests that people do to come up with these, these theories and, you know, I've been chastised for everything I've said on Facebook videos, but it's BS. I'm sorry, you may not intend for it to be that when you're producing your YouTube video on penetration, but it's not true. The problem with going out and shooting mammals to find out what's, what works is you've got to try them from all different angles, hit them in all different places. You know, and simulating the same shot on a wild animal, it, is is impossible they're always moving there's always more more or less distance involved there's a number of instructions oh, oh there's a number of variables that you can't simulate over and over and over because each shot is generally filled with variables so all I, i'm doing this in a very low tech way i'm talking about this because it's the principles that matter if i want to get into how many uh, grains of certain kind of wood per inch and its denseness and its molecular makeup. No, 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 no. All you need to know is shooting wood, shooting paper, shooting steel does not equate to penetration on living mammals. In fact, it doesn't tell you anything about how bullets will penetrate on living mammals. To do that, you got to shoot living mammals. And, and until you get at least a thousand of them under your belt with varying calibers, varying styles of bullets at varying impact velocities, hit at different angles and striking bones, not striking bones. Until you've killed at least a thousand, you're smart just to keep your ears open and your mouth shut because you're not gonna get it right. And even after you've killed two or 3,000 like I have, you're still not gonna get it right all the time. Too many variables. So. I know I'm a real spoiler when it comes to people overthinking and doing paper ballistics and paper tests. And I know I am, but I'm the real deal. And uh, it's just from decades of shooting lots of animals. Um, I wanted to put this out there for you. Don't want to be a party pooper. But you want to promote shit that works. <laughs> well, my wife's right. That's why it's really nice to have Kim film these because she reminds me of the important stuff I'm supposed to say. She says, because you want shit that works. So if you want to find out what penetrates mammals, kill lots of mammals. Or you can take certain people's words for it if they have sufficient ballistic understanding, which... Most professional hunters and guides really are some of the very poorest, not, not all, but most are some of the very poorest at understanding ballistics. You know, they, they get the rifle that they want and they buy ammo and they shoot stuff. And surprisingly, more often than not, there's a good outcome for the client, but sometimes there isn't. So folks, I leave this with you just by way of advice and by way of warning, really, and I do it in, in the good spirit in which it was intended. And may God bless, and we'll see you on the next video.